After having supported the Wildlife Ranger Challenge remotely since its inception three years ago, I finally got a chance to spend time with rangers at several protected areas in Kenya. Joseph is one of the rangers we met. He's third in charge of security and head of the canine unit at Lewa Wildlife Conservancy. He took me to visit his old primary school. He also had his team demonstrate how the dogs work with their handlers to track poachers and chase me and my new friend Mecca up a tree. And this is Edward. He's head of anti-poaching at Lewa and he invited me to train with his team. I was overwhelmed by the dedication I witnessed to the communities surrounding the protected areas for which the rangers have become trusted guardians and, of course, to the wildlife which the rangers protect with their lives. And sadly, I mean that literally. During the past year alone, at least 65 rangers in Africa died in the line of duty. They go months without seeing their families, and many conservancies cannot afford to pay for health insurance. Christmas or holidays are rare when you're a ranger, and more often than not, they spend weeks patrolling the bush, sleeping outside exposed to the elements. And yet, their enthusiasm is ever-present, and the love for their work is palpable. I've never been more proud to support this initiative. I've witnessed the positive impact it has on wildlife preservation, on the communities whose help and vigilance against poaching is essential, and on the men and women who are on the front lines every single day. Your donations are hugely appreciated, and your participation in the race, whatever shape or form that may take, makes all the difference to the rangers. Thank you. I'm so thrilled to be training for the Wildlife Ranger Challenge with the rangers from Lewa. A massive thank you to everyone who's taking part. Asante sana! Asante!